What was your first impression of me? Uh, well, I obviously saw you before you saw me. Um, seeing you on TV speaking in an indigenous language for me, that caught my heart because you know, it's, uh, language has a way of revealing the traits of a person, you know, what they truly are. And for me, it was it was it was a given that you were the person that I should spend the rest of my life with. As crazy as as weird as it may sound, because you didn't know me and whatever, I did meet see you um, in Rosebank and you were with Stefina and that was the day when I had decided flip I'm gonna go speak to her because it's like I was already there I was already hooked and I thought that maybe it would be an opportunity for us for for me at least to you know try something out but it, I, chicken I chickened out <laughs> proper I proper chickened out <laughs> but you know, it still doesn't like even when I met you for the first time at backstage. What I thought when I saw you on TV became true because in our conversations I could hear already, yeah, man, this is that person I saw when they were speaking an indigenous language. She's genuine and she's real, and it's so rare to find that within our industry, you know. Um, so for me, yeah. I was I was hooked since. What are some of your fondest memories of our time together? Sure. Definitely the traveling. I'll tell you why. Because you know I never used to like traveling a lot because you know as an artist I've been traveling so much and uh, and I, I you know it was always about getting into a specific town and performing and then mm -hmm. bouncing and not really experiencing the town for what it is or the place for what it is. So when I started traveling with you, you made me fall in love with it. But the main reason I fell in love with it was because of how it made you feel. I know you like traveling. You light up when we are elsewhere, discovering new things. And you know, uh, Bali was one of my favorites trips. Zanzibar was one of my favorite trips with you. Um, yeah, just traveling with you, you know, it fulfills me because I can see you grow and it makes me feel like as a husband, I'm doing something right, making my wife happy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we have in common? We've got a lot in common. We are both sensitive people. We are both uh, perfectionists and critics critics of ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, but more than anything, uh, we, we dancing on one platform together within this marriage, you know, we have, and like our, our respect for the discipline is equivalent because if I'm going through stuff or we have an argument, it hits us both. We can't, we can't go for too long having fought because it, it, it makes us both see yeah. and perhaps that's one thing that something that we have in common where we value this thing that we have so much that we're not willing to compromise it over a silly argument or whatever if there's a problem we acknowledge it as a problem and we deal with it right then then knowing that you know this is much more valuable we want to keep this <laughs> right and 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 here's another thing i mean we had decided that you know we don't want to involve uh, people within our marriage or the media because we were still trying to figure ourselves out at the same time right and that's the best thing we could have done and that again shows just how much the both of us value this thing see the importance in in, in this discipline because it's changed us both in a positive way i've grown because of this marriage I would have never been the person I am today had I experienced it with someone else. Never. You know, so, yeah. Why do you love me? And when do you feel the most loved by me? Sure. <laughs> Why do I love you? Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Um, I can't even put it in words, Sally, because it's like 
you are you. You've never been anything that is outside of who you are. You are so, I said, you are genuine. And you being genuine uh, makes me feel like I'm, 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 you're putting me in comfort zone, you know? And I see that a lot when I've got my down moments, when I'm really having a bad day or a bad month or whatever. It's like you don't even realize it. You always have a way of making me feel like I'm not walking alone. And that says a lot about how you, how you, how you feel about me, the love that you say you have for me. Yeah, I feel loved all the time, especially when you're smiling. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> Answer this next one very carefully. Okay. What's the one thing that I do <laughs> that gets on your nerves? <laughs> Making me wash the dishes when I don't feel like it. <laughs> I always have to make an excuse. I'll wash them tomorrow. It's your turn today. Tomorrow's mine. Um, <laughs> we said one thing. Moving right <laughs> Where do you see us five years from now? Building, you know, continuing to expand our home, having having more kids. Maybe. Nudge, nudge, we will. Yeah, just continuing to enjoy this 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 journey. I mean, we have to enjoy it in this lifetime, right? We, we don't know if it's gonna happen in the next. We're not guaranteed the next lifetime. I believe so much in reincarnation, but I don't know what's gonna happen. So while I'm still in this field with you, I might as well enjoy it, of which I do. And I'm so blessed every day, waking up, knowing that, you know, I get to face it with you. Even, even when it's hard, even, you know, in, in, in our worst times, even when we are not gelling so much together, you know. I'd rather experience those times with you than anyone else. Fact. <laughs> oh. So Sally, what was your first impression of me? <laughs> I'll let you think about that. <laughs> so my first impression of you mm -hmm. <laughs> was because you were so nervous, you were preparing your scripts, you had them all lined up nicely. And I thought, wow, I can see you hard working. I could pick it up already. And then we sat down and we spoke about high school and family. And, uh, and I was like, oh, oh, you are such a warm human being. Um, and you are incredibly funny. I had never met anyone who spoke like you. Um, it's funny because you grew up in Soweto, my dad grew up in Soweto, but I'd never been exposed to someone who sounded the way you did. <laughs> your colloquialisms, your slang, your little township jokes, or <laughs> your tzotzi dal. I found it incredibly <laughs> sexy. <laughs> so yeah, my first impression was this genuine, warm, Incredibly good looking, sexy, you know, like big muscles and all, and hard working but and kind uh, human being. Um, I think that's why I was just like, I'm sticking around. This 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 guy, he's gonna be my scheme for life. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the fondest, your fondest memories of our time together? There's so many. Ah, uh, okay, let me try. Obviously. Like you said, the traveling. Every time we're on holiday together, I think you and I are quite serious. <clears throat> so when we're not on holiday, we're just like, you know, we're grinding, we t and we take everything so seriously. I think the reason I love being on holiday with you is because you and I are like kids on holiday. <laughs> And the the fun that we want, we just want to investigate and adventure, and, and it's such a fun light time. So definitely, um, our first trip was Zanzibar because it was honeymoon. Even that was so much fun. It didn't feel like we had to try hard to, like, make it what it isn't. You know, we were just having fun. We we're like two kids, 
uh, running around Stone Town. It was incredible. And we made, you know, nice connections with people. So yeah, that stands out. And then Spain recently, you know, now obviously, um, since to me has been around. Whenever we take a family holiday, I also get to see your fun dad side. I love that. So some of the holidays we've taken with Dumi are some of my fondest memories. Spain is the most recent one and that was incredible. Yeah. Seeing you crazy people in the stadium making <laughs> noise, embarrassing me. But it was so much fun in Barcelona and all of that. So yeah, definitely our travels. Tell them what we have in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, yo, you and I. You know, I always joke. Sometimes I feel like you're, we were siblings in a past life. I know you don't like it when I say that. Yeah. We're very similar. We're both sensitive. You said it. Um, incredibly sensitive. Um, which is good and bad. Um, I think we found a way to manage it over the years. Um, but it's helped us in the sense that because I understand how sensitive I am, I tread lightly where you're concerned and vice versa. You know, so we really know how to nurture each other. Um, I think we're both very hard on ourselves, you're right, we're perfectionist. Um, yeah, <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. And, and we're, one thing you didn't say, we're both very private. Yeah. So when we're at home, we like hermits. <laughs> and it's actually not always good, but we have to force ourselves to like yeah. get out and go into the world and be with other humans because <laughs> we enjoy each other so much just chilling and being lazy we're both prone to laziness i also know that yeah more similar than different actually <laughs> why do you love me? and when do you feel most loved by me? oh I feel most loved by you all the time you're so loving um you've taught me a lot um so sure it's i feel most loved by you literally every day you you know how to pull somebody out without it feeling forced like you just know how to you hug me when i need it you leave me alone when i need it you've got i said this to you i think probably a month into us dating you're one of the wisest people I've ever met. Um, so when I, I feel loved by you, is when you take time and you just, you're there for me, talk to me, you, you try and cheer me up, you're very good at that. Um, and, and it's one of the things I love most about you. You are a caring, compassionate human being. And you make me tea all the time. I love I'm very lazy to make tea for myself, but you know how to make it right. You even mix my drinks right when I'm drinking. Really? Yes. <laughs> so that's when I feel loved. <laughs> but yeah, I think you just... What I love most about you is being with you. Literally. Um, no one gets me like you do. No one. My mom thought she did until she met you and then she even said, I don't know. <laughs> yo, yo, one thing I do that gets on your nerves. Just one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> so, you know, I am not a morning person. <laughs> oh. I get that you are <laughs> my word, but do you have to? <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning when you're all bright and chirpy switch on the lights all the lights in the bedroom <laughs> open the cupboards take out your shoes and then you sing <laughs> and then you're like are you awake baby <laughs> it's a beautiful day no it's not i'm still sleeping so yeah no that <laughs> sure and you don't need to change being an early riser you just need to do it quiet yeah <laughs> sure, baby. So where where do you see us five years from now? Sure. Five years from now we'll be parents to two children. <laughs> <laughs> Just two. 
um, we'll both be thriving in our businesses. Uh, we'll have traveled the world even more. And I look forward to seeing you become the psychologist that you're so excited to become. It's going to be exciting times. You're not allowed to psychoanalyze me though. And um, I just, yeah, I, I, I look forward to seeing the kind of marriage that we will have with our girls and our children older. Um, and yeah, still striving to make a difference in people's lives and loving our family. <laughs> you and I see the same future. <laughs>